Hello everyone. Welcome to the next lecture on the MGF. Today we will discuss about the MGF of the negative binomial distribution. Myself, Dr. Gar, working in the School of Mathematics, Thapar Institute, India. So, what is the negative binomial distribution? Is this is the generalization of the geometric distribution, and it is also called as the Pascal distribution. How they can define the negative binomial distribution? That means if you conduct an experiment up to the infinite number of times, and at the x position you have to get the uh, rth success and out of these how many trials they are x minus trials and in this x minus 1 trials you get the x my r minus 1 successes are there there's a phenomena behind the negative binomials so whenever there is a here it means this is my finite so you can apply the binomial distribution up to this part first part then the distribution will be ncr this is my n you all knows that this is my binomial distribution here so now this is my x this is my n and so on and this is the probability of the one success and here this is the pmf or called as the probability mass function of the negative binomial r star x varies from r r plus 1 and so on r is called as the number of the successes so if you want r as a one then it it is nothing but my geometric distribution how you can define the MGF? MGF is nothing but my expected value of this exponential part provided this expectation exists. Why this expectation exists? Because if your random variable is my discrete, then you have to write this as an infinite series. If it is a continuous, then this as an integration. So if this integration exists, then MGF exists. If this summation exists, then you can say this is the MGF of this random variable x. Now we will see how we can define the MGF of the negative binomial distribution. We can start from here. Since this is a discrete random variable, so I can open this as a summation of this. This is e raised to power x of here. Now you can see this is my x, wherever x is written, this is the x minus r. So I can replace here to be x minus r. It means I have to multiply and divide by this part. So you can see I have this since this these two terms this and this part is independent with respect to this summation x so I can take it outside. You can see these bases are different powers are same so I can combine them which can be written here. Do you remember that now how you can do that since x start from here so I can take x minus r is 0 or I can say k is nothing but my x minus r. So I can substitute x's value is k plus r at here at here and the limits is start from the k is 0 to infinity so you can see i can replace x to be the r, k plus r and here is do you remember that what is the infinite series since it is an infinite series do you remember that what is the series of this this is a negative binomial series always remember that whenever k varies from 0 to here it is a negative binomial series 1 minus x raised to power minus of n provided this mod of x is must be less than of the 1. So if you compare here, what will happen? You will get here as x is nothing but my here. What is the value of the n is n minus 1 that is nothing but my r. Provided this x that is this value must be less than of 1 is here. Now I can write this negative as of the below 1 and is the required MGF. Based on this MGF, you can find the mean and variances of this also. How you can find the mean and variance you can write as a all of you know that mean is nothing but ex and ex square you have to find the at t is zero how you find the e of x that is nothing but the first derivative how you find the e of x square this is nothing but my second derivative of here so you have this movement generating function you can take the first derivative by using the u upon v rule you can take them you will have here now you can simplify this you can see uh, you can take the common part you, this red co portion is common from the numerator you can simplify here this you can see this will be cancelled out now it will be 1 upon here so at t is equal to 0 what will happen so when you substitute t is equal to 0 this part will be my 1 this part will be my 1 this part will be my 1 so this is there what is a 1 minus q 1 minus q is nothing but my p so this is p raised to power r minus 1 and so on. So you can see p raised to power 2r is cancelled. So r upon p is the required mean of the negative binomial. 
Similarly, you can find the variance. How you can find the variance? In order to find the variance, you need the e of x square. So firstly, you have to find the e of x square, that is the second derivative. How you can take the second derivative of this? It's quite simple. Instead of taking the second derivative here, you can see this is nothing but my first derivative. This is my first derivative of here. Now I can take the second derivative again here as a u upon v. So you can see when you take as a v square, it will be nothing but my power 4. And you can see this is the expression. Now, either you want to expand them, otherwise there is no need. So at t is equal to 0, what will happen? This part will be my 1, this part will be my 1, this part will be 1 and so on. So you can see here. Again, we know that p plus k is nothing but my 1. So I can substitute here as my p. This is nothing but my p. This is my p. This is p. This is my p. And this is also be a p. So you can see. here. Now, now you can rather simplify it. How you can do that? So you can take p raised to power 2 are common from the numerator and it will be cancelled out. You can see this will be cancelled out from here. So it will be p raised to power 2 r is pending p. Now you can see here. Now apart from here you can can you say again p raised to power r is common from the numerator. So p raised to power r this is nothing but p raised to power r. Now you can put in this is the inside what will happen p raised to power will be cancelled. So it's r upon p. This is r k u upon p square. This is k u upon p square. And this is 2 r k u upon p square. This is the calculation are there. Now you can see this is my 2 r k u by p square. This is r k u by p square. What will happen? This is nothing but my plus r k u by p square. So I can substitute his, this one. Here. Now you can take as a p square is LCM. So what will happen? This is nothing but my RP plus RQ plus of Q. So you all know that if you take as a R common, what will happen? P plus Q, P plus Q is nothing but my 1 is my E of X square. Therefore, the variance is my E X square minus of this. So you can substitute E of X square. This is my E of X square. You can substitute the value of here. Now can you take the LCM of this? This is nothing but my r square plus r q minus of r square. So it will be cancelled out. It is r q by p square. And all of you know that this is nothing but my variance of the negative binomial distribution. So this is the way you can solve this uh, MGF of the negative binomial distributions and their corresponding problems. We will see the characteristics function of the negative binomial distribution in our next class. Till then you can simply like, subscribe and share my channel. This to your friends. Best of luck students. Happy learning.